whisper. But what I'm saying is, they wasn't. You can talk like that outside. Hey, I can talk how the fuck I want to where I, wherever I'm at. I'm on live, Shadi. Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. This ain't your fucking restaurant. This ain't your fucking restaurant. Everything you make, I can pull out my pocket right now. I ain't tripping on you. I ain't tripping. Get the hell out of my face. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Who the hell is he? What's your name? My name King. You know it and your mama know it. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Fire your shit. Come back. Come back. What? Come On game what? On game what? Come here. Come here. I'll show you what I do. Come here. I'll show you what I do. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. We out here. We out here. I'm outside. Okay. I'm outside. Come on, shake some. Come on, shake some. Come on, shake some. Hey, get your employees. Get your employees. Yeah, talking something in this. Tell your mama happy. And you still talking inside though. You still talking inside though. Why you inside? Can't stop me from doing shit. I'm doing shit. Let me get my food. Thank you. I'm just talking like they like that. They ain't like that. Before I get back here, pistol with them. Fuck. Wait till I get back and see him out here late night. Wait till I slap him. All right, yeah. Yeah, wait. Wait till I come back in the market late night. And then it's just you and I slap you up. Yeah. You trying to act all tough. All oh, like this in front of all your people. Tell your mama I said happy Mother's Day. And then can in my face and shit. Like what? Why I slap her with this money? Hey, cuz. Hey, cuz. I don't know who the f. I don't know. Slapped out his fucking mouth. I swear to God, I was like, arguing with you the whole time. But I, it's confusing, right? It's confusing because, you know, I got a son, 17 years old, graduated with honors, AB honor roll, you know. Um, and you know, a few people picked it up. A few people talked about it. A few people talked about it. A few people, you know, congratulated us, and I appreciate that. I really do. I value that. No matter how major or minute, I appreciate any consideration and appreciation given to my family. Any celebratory comments, I appreciate all of it, right? But. It seems as though the news of that was halted because it was in competition with some kind of minor ass remedial petty squirmish that happened at the Waffle House. Now, hey, listen, bruh, anybody in here who's my age or even close to my age, you done been young before. You know, you know what I mean? Come on, bro. You know how that's going to go. You know it's going to be a lot more times where you do the wrong thing before you learn exactly how to do the right thing. Everybody already know that. You know what I mean? I'm not expecting my children not to I am expecting them not to do it on camera as much. But, you know, that's just the world we live in here right now. Regardless of that situation, that situation, man, man, that shit is, is very remedial when it comes to the real meat and potatoes <laughs> of the discussion, okay? Why in the hell is it more newsworthy to report that this man got into an argument with a fucking short order cook? And less important to speak about the fact that he graduated with honors on the A&B honor roll at 17, not even 18 yet. Why is this? I don't understand what world we're living in 
Well, this is what we rather promote. Because whether you know it or not, you not only are you promoting it, you're not just kind of like putting it out there for my son and like, you know, showing, showing his failures or showing his shortcomings. You're also promoting it to your children and other people's children. Why wouldn't you want to say, hey, look, this is the guy who you saw from or you know from this person or that you know from these things and look at what he has been able to do. Even though we saw him in this light and now here he is in this light. Why would you not want that for your nephews, for your little brothers, for your little cousins, for your sons, for your daughters? Like, why would you not want that for the rest of society to, to exemplify what could happen if you put your mind to your education, no matter what your extracurricular activities or what your, you know, your pastimes are? Bro, why would you want that to be an example? And I, I mean, I mean, I think I, I know everybody out there, man. I know everybody got the answers. I know all y'all got the answers. I know everybody out here got the answers, especially if you motherfuckers with no children. I know all of you got the answers. I know everybody who ain't never did shit can show everybody how to do it. I already know that. I know that. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Most of you, you know what I'm saying? Instead of getting up off your ass and getting out there and actually going to do something and taking the chance of actually becoming a failure even more, you would rather sit there and become the failure that you already are and not have to hold yourself accountable. I get that. But let me just offer you a little perspective. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. We're always going to be all right. Because I'm here. And if nothing else... We're going to have an example. We're going to have options. Okay? So I'm just speaking to you grown people. I'm speaking to you grown people. Because it's grown. For what? It was a grown person behind that damn counter. Inviting my son outside. Man. Hey, man. It happens. Okay. Cool. And I'm glad that it ended the way it did. You know what I'm saying? Because... I just want to remind that there are, you know, adults in his family, cousins, uncles, a father, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, that it wouldn't have stopped there. So I'm glad that it ended where it did. I'm glad that it did. But at the same time, I also explained to him, you get out there and you get yourself in grown man business and something to go away that you ain't wanted to go. Man, shit, you, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna learn what real adversity is. But that's something that you have to learn with growth. The evolution of a man is constant. Right? I just want to know why in the hell. I just want to know why in the hell. Is it more newsworthy or noteworthy to report that. Than report the fact that the man graduated with us. That's all. That's it. Now, now, and short order cooks are, I'm not saying the short order cooks aren't important, I'm not saying that, but ain't no re ain't nothing for me to, ain't nothing for me to be arguing with a short order cook about, but an order, and after the order, I'm gone, ain't nothing else to be arguing about, ain't nothing else for us to be going back and forth about, they have a job to do, and I have a life to live, and ain't nothing else to be going back and forth about, they could be a cashier at a register. Ain't nothing else for us to be going back and forth about. Nothing. There's nothing for us to be going back and forth about. They trying to work themselves to a place, and I, I support that. But ain't no way for me to engage too much with them. Ain't no way for me to do that. Ain't no way for Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe here. Yeah. Now, I'm going to celebrate my son for his, for, for, for the things he do right. And I'm going to correct him when he does wrong. But I'm talking about you adults. I'm talking about you adults. As a parent, that's my job. I'm committed to it. Ain't no way for me to, I can't clock out of it. But for, for, for you, for you adults, what the hell is you, why is it so engaging for you? Why are you so enthralled by this? Why? There's something wrong with you. There's some shit up with you. 
know what I mean? Children gonna be children. Kids will be kids, man. You know what I'm saying? I expect that from them. I expect that from them. I expect them to fuck up. I expect them to do the wrong thing from time to time. I expect that. As I did, as you've done. But what about y'all, though, bro? Like, why y'all doing that? Ask yourself. What the fuck is so bad about your life? It caused you to do that. All right? Well, that's the only piece of perspective I have for the day, man. That's all I have to say. I just wanted an A, man. If you feel like, if y'all y'all put me up on game, if that's just the way it is and, you know, the world just ain't shit and I shouldn't, you know what I mean? Cool, cool. But get what? If the world ain't shit, it'll never be shit if I don't point it out. First step to solving the problem is realizing that there is a problem. So, as long as we continue to report the bad, we're going to continue to get the bad. i let y'all go ahead and enjoy y'all day, man. I hope y'all weekend is phenomenal as you deserve. And shit, I'm going to continue to live my rich-ass life. Goodbye.